Uh, Mega man, Omega man. Just speaking of your performance today, man. Just seeing overall second half performance, another win. The column. What's next for you and see? Yeah, I mean, I thought we did a good job today. I mean, we followed the game plan, and I mean, I thought we played really disciplined today. Uh, Wake Forest had a good experience team. Uh, Appleby, he's been amazing. Uh, my son told to shoot the ball, and also Williamson has given us fits for two, or three years, how long he's been there. So, I mean, I thought we did a good job today. Just everybody coming in and playing. Huge minutes from Justin. I thought he was solid defensively. He's been doing great in practice, and he stepped up, so coach trusted to play him. And then also, too, uh, Seth doing a great job, too, on the defensive end, but also getting his career high, too. That was great. And Leaky. What do you need to see from UNC to take it to the next step, just getting over that stagnant phase? Just, you know, one loss here, one win here, but more consistency. What do you want to see from your team? Just realizing what's in front of us. I mean, it's great that we won this game, but the off saying at times, we take a deep breath, and we just can't take a deep breath because, I mean, I feel like we've probably given away three, four games we set one, so we really just need to try to take the momentum going and just really keep playing. Did the best game offense we've seen from Leaky? Play a lot of basketball with him. Yeah, no, I was really – crap, I'm sweating so hard. So I tried to shower and get out here so my body's still in full zone. But, um, yeah, it's your fault. But, Leaky, yeah, he was solid this game. He was aggressive. I mean, they had a lot of undersized guys on him, and I thought he did a good job of just attacking and finishing. And he also shot the ball well, too, which is good. What about the three-guard lineup you all close with, with Kayla, RJ, and Seth? Why is that effective? Why was it working tonight? Because, I mean, a team like that, they had a lot of shooting. And with the four-man being able to shoot, we wanted to be able to switch a lot of actions. And I think Coach just thought Leaky was strong enough and good enough to guard their 6'10", 6'11", four-man. So that just really helped us. And then us just being able to switch down the line. Seth, he's physical, so he do a good job of being able to, you know, we saw the block he had on that power four. He do a good job being able to get under him and use his legs and strength. What to you was the difference tonight? After that Pittsburgh game, you were pretty frustrated by the way you guys closed. What, what do you feel like was the difference with the way you closed tonight? I mean, we started the first half just really getting a feel for it. And I mean, I think the second half we did a good job of just taking every play seriously and not taking any play for granted. And I think that's what really helped us. The first half, I mean, we gave them four or five open, wide open threes. We knew that uh, Appleby was coming around in the corner for the three, and he got two or three threes off of that. And then we also fouled him. Three point shooter three times, three times. Today. So we made a lot of mistakes, but I think in the second half we did a better job of not making mistakes. Do you find yourself being a little bit more more critical of, of the team, given your your old age and your you know as an elder statesman? Like you know, you keep talking about seeing what's in front of us. Like yeah. is that a matter of your experience, kind of speaking? Yeah, definitely. I mean. We all came back for a reason. I mean, it's just time. It's time for us to show how good of a team we are. We got the talent, but we just got to be more disciplined. And just us leaders, we got to do a better job of every day just trying to be better and better and not letting one thing affect us because if it affects us, then it's going to affect the young guys. It's just a spring without Armando, when Pete goes out so early in the game, and you're basically the big guy on the team, did that, change, did that change your mental game plan at all? Or did you just keep going? Here? Yeah, well, I mean, Pete, all at practice this week, he was a little banged up, too. So, I mean, we knew he was giving that a go, and maybe it was a possibility that something would happen. So, I mean, yeah, we just had to thug it out. Like I said, Justin came in and gave us huge minutes. He got like two blocks, and he did a really good job guarding, uh, was it Carr? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that was just great for us. So we got good minutes for the bench, and that's something that we need. And hopefully it's something that Justin can build on, too, and just keep playing because, I mean, he works hard every day. And I'm just glad he got the opportunity. Did you notice?